So in terms of how education uh, is changing um, in this uh, globalizing environment, um, I think that first of all, um, it's making the need for specialization even more important, just in general. At the same time, I think you need to be more worldly. And being more worldly means that you need to have a kind of breadth of learning uh, across not just cultures such as history and things like this, but also in terms of uh, language learning. So you want to um, both be educated globally, but also being more specialized. Let me just talk about um, language learning and how um, you know it needs to change from the way it's been and how uh, I think uh, in general uh, and, and what generalities I can draw from that. So traditionally we all know uh, language learning took place in the classroom and the teacher stood in front of the class with about 20 students and um, the, the teacher explains the language. And essentially, by explaining the language, the students will then understand it and then be able to apply it. The assumption there is that language is a very adult skill, and uh, through analysis and, and um, uh, logical reasoning, you can figure out any language. And that came out of a tradition that came uh, from uh, uh, the Middle Ages and so on, when they were trying to revive Greek, ancient Greek, and, and Latin. And they essentially applied the same uh, pedagogy for, for, for teaching um, you know, living languages as they did for dead ones. So that really, uh, as we know, has not been a successful strategy. And why? It's because um, the student doesn't engage enough. And you don't learn some things through understanding a logical uh, explanation. You need to experience it, you need to live it, and you need to work things out by trial and error. I think that's where uh, Rosetta Stone, for example, is very different uh, to uh, traditional language learning. Uh, the student, right from the start, is reacting to different stimuli and trying to figure out the language by themselves. And that kind of learning, I think, in general, for anything, um, is very helpful uh, because um, by solving a problem, even making mistakes, you learn things in a natural way. It, really the same way babies learn their very most basic skills. And so I would say that um, how things need to change um, is that we need to recognize that there are new technologies that enable new ways of approaching learning and we need to leverage them. However, that's not to say that you should just throw technology at the problem. So great teachers are incredibly valuable. Everyone who's had a great teacher knows that. Uh, and all of us have, at some point, had great uh, experiences like that. So it's more a case of finding out what can these new technologies do, using them in, in the learning process, and then thinking about what is it that teachers or human beings are uniquely able to do? So for example, in, in language learning, teachers aren't necessarily the most uh, efficient conduit for getting you to learn a new language, uh, getting you to learn a new word, etc. Uh, that's probably easier done with a technology environment like the one we provide. However, uh, teachers are unique in the, uh, and vastly superior to machines in the sense that they can socialize learning. So if you think about learning a language, uh, you've got um, a need not just to learn it, but to practice it. And if you think about the goals that we have as language learners, which is to be able to have conversations with people, um, there's great efficiencies that can be created by having essentially machine-based or computer-based or software-based learning up front where the student acquires new language and then having a teacher essentially take that student and get them to practice the language that they've learned. Um, and that can create great efficiencies and, and lots of enjoyment, by the way. I think one of the things that um, 
technology can really change is the level of enthusiasm students have for certain subjects. They can things that were that involved a lot of sitting back and listening to essentially someone talking, kind of like I am right now. Uh, you know, it, it just isn't that engaging after a while, and, and students will lose concentration. And so, it's much better to then mix things up a bit and have more diversity and more interactivity and more engagement.